Hi there, super friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'm sitting out at the front step of the ghetto house. Now, the neighborhood is a lot better now, but not perfect. It's getting there. That's a story for another time. Today's story, I have a few people have asked me how I have become fearless. And, and that's in real life, when I used to have to go fight people and I'll just go and I'll have to handle the job you know and go and face a fight and get hurt and everything else but be, do it fearlessly but it roots all the way back to the child abuse days where as a young kid little baby actually my um, mom and daddy used to put on monster mask and then in the middle of the night come wake me up and and they would be my mom would be flicking the light switch off and on and they go and they're screaming and yelling and they had the record player going in slow motion that I, they knew scared me as a young ki little kid i thought it was the booger man and and sure enough they came in with them mask and come in beating me waking me up in the middle of the night sometimes putting my pillowcase over my head and and wake up in the middle of the night with the pillowcase over my head yep that was horrible and um they would be doing that kind of stuff and it happened to my brother too he was there too so he's a witness to it all except my mama did try to protect him a bit but he wasn't completely protected there was no complete protection from my evil daddy so he was always wanting to scare us and another thing that he did was there was a policeman I just waved to him but he didn't wave back you gotta realize I'm one of the good guys well anyway so so they used to do all that stuff and then they would take off the mask and run back in the room and say, you brought those demons back in this house again because you're so bad. You, you, you two are so bad. You bring demons in this house, monsters. And later on, of course, we knew it was them. But at first, the little babies, we didn't know any better. We really believed it. Oh, I see a kitty. I'm going to have to get some kitty food going. I'll get it for you real quick, kitty, once I finish my story. So, then they had to put contact paper and painted the windows to, the, to our bedroom because they had neighbors that had started to try to look in and see what was going on, getting nosy, hearing us yelling and screaming and stuff and all that noise. And so, eventually, they said, from now on, if you yell when we beat you, you get 10 more lashes. And so we had to let them beat us and beat us, and I'm talking, until he got tired and couldn't swing his belt anymore, and my mama would jump in and take over, or they would do double teaming, double teaming. I, oh, I could go into great details on these beatings. And uh, he'd take our, pulling our, me and my brother's hair and smashing our heads together, knots on top of knots on our heads, yanking the hair out of our heads and all that. And he'd be throwing it out of his fingers and stuff. Oh, the tortures I can tell you. There's so many. Now here's, but I'm talking about the fearless stuff. Then he went to scare me some more and we watched a lot of Western shows. He thought he was a reincarnation of the Wild West whiskey and all so anyway speaking of whiskey let me go ahead and have myself a nice slug of water that's right no more booze for me though in all my drinking days i never ever was like like him oh little kitty i'm gonna get to you I better get to little kitty there. But anyway, here's for the rest of the story. He used to play Russian roulette with my head. And and he'd be spinning the barrel. And at first you you say, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And then eventually you go, oh no, it missed again. That bullet, and I used to tell my daddy, well, try again, better luck next time. Oh, did that make him mad? 
because he couldn't scare me. The monsters couldn't scare me. I told the, the peanut head what to do. I said, next time they come in with monster mask, we start throwing all this stuff and start beating them. And they found out that the monster routine didn't work anymore because we had some hard toys and things, some some uh, stuff to throw at them. And that's, and, oh, and then I remember, I remember um, one time I said, wait, that's daddy and mama. Uh, oh, we didn't mean to throw the stuff at you, so y'all are the monsters, and we figured them out. And I, I had to do the figuring out, always showing the peanut head. I'm the one that had to eventually beat him up and teach him a lesson, and I'll tell you that story, but there's just a little bit for you. I got to get to the kitty, so thanks a lot, super friends, and please subscribe. It'll help little kitty out too come here little kitty i'm gonna get you some food don't you worry i'm getting it right now see you later super friends time to get that little kitty something to eat